Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Echo. I've already done the one, sorry. Well, we've got the energy for the Torvus bug all taken care of. Now let's go see Yumos so he can point us to where we need to go next. I can just see hand slowly raises that uh, way. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, like I said before, the Ing are <laughs> really mad at us. I mean, they wouldn't be. I mean, we have single-handedly turned the tide of this war into the favor of the Luminoth. Well, the remaining Luminoth. It seems like all of them are dead, except for a couple. But it's all right. A lot of them are dead, you know, that's, that's, that's no doubt. Well, it's because they were losing. I guess now they can kind of, you know, fight their way back. While we were gone, the war wasp population has just exploded. I've, I've been wondering about that. Has the world been changing as we've been progressing through the game? Very subtly. Like, there's no war wasps in the uh, th that big open area anymore where the half pipe is. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. we got to get a couple things. Oh, well, yeah, give me all the things. Give well, me, give me. Well, uh, remember that... Uh, Nice hidden green door from earlier. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time to open that. Oh. Do we have to use the new, like, dark... Oh, right, we just didn't just, come back for it. <laughs> yeah, we just didn't come back for it. Now it's time to open it. <laughs> Hello! Oh. No. We also, need, we also need the grapple beam for this, too. Oh, I really like this nice open area. I know! Got a really... Tink. I just love the environments in this game, too. Can't go that way, that's yellow. Yeller door. Whatever that is. <gasps> oh, hello, electronic tank! It's an E-tank! Yes! An economy tank! Ah, oh, yay. More energy. Look at it. Eight extra E-tanks. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, one more thing to get before you can move Tink. on. Gotta go hop into the dark world real quick. You know, just a quick toe into the dark world here, real quick. Just, yeah, just a quick little dip. Ain't no big. Just, a, just, a, just a quick visit. That's all. <laughs> you just poke your head through the dark world portals. Just like, hey, <laughs> hello. Just getting this. Thanks. Bye. Real quick. It's just, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> As the ing are just like cracking their knuckles and getting their guns ready, it's just like, ah, you wait, just wait till she comes back. Poke head through. Oh hi. <laughs> just take this real quick. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye, uh, peace. Hey, wait. Did she? Did she just? She just came through. Oh! So now we have to use the green door in here now. Oh. So that way leads to where we were going, but uh, we couldn't go back this way because we didn't have the super missile. But now we do, and now we have the thing that we need to get the thing that what we need to... to we, we can be here now. Thing! This is the place we are now allowed to be because we have everything we need to get the thing that's in here. So come in here, yeah, you need the dark suit, obviously, because there's not a whole lot of beacons in this area. Think we need the boost ball? Nope, that's that's fine. Don't need to worry about that. Don't need to do sick tricks. A couple of uh, hunter ing. I think we can take care of. Doesn't this technically mean you can use the X-ray visor on these guys or the dark visor? You're right. We could. Hey, that seems to work pretty good. Cool. And what? The door is a little, little funny too. When you look at it. I thought there was one more. Okay, there he is. I knew there was one more. And get out of here. God, he wishes he could disappear now. It's like wait, wait, wait. So. Oh. You look at this door, they got five little uh, red spots that you can only see in the dark visor. That is your cue to start using your seeker missile. Oh, that's that's actually really cool. If you scan it, it would have told you it needs simultaneous blasts, but they're in the different dimension. But which ones? You see these uh, those circles with the little purple dot spinning around them? That's yeah. your cue that you need dark visor and seeker missile. Well, that's oh. our 27th missile upgrade. Doing pretty good on collecting. I think we're a little, I think we're a little past halfway now. Yes. Oh, for the game or collectibles? For for the uh, the missile expansions. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, no sick tricks. Yeah, we don't need to do it. Oh, sick you tricks. teased no, me with right sick now. tricks. Don't need to go that way. Uh, don't need to go that way. That's all right. Just just strictly oh. business for right now. Strictly business. Use light beam to take out these things. You need to refill on your dark ammo. Yeah, here. <laughs> but wait, I wasn't doing it. Ah! No, I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, just poking my head in here. Okay, bye, everybody. Later. All right, now we can head to the temple. Just, you, a, just a couple little extra bonuses we can get along the way. You need to go east now. Actually, we need to go north to the flipper flibbits. 
galaxy or whatever. You know. We don't need to go to a galaxy. It's on, it's just on the one plane. We can't leave anyway. Go to Shimmer Down area. Shine Down. That's a band. You need to go to Shiver Fire Galaxy. Are you even really? Oh, hi. Chicken's if he was a dark guy or a regular guy or not, but where'd where he go? He's just there he is! Oh, hello! Hey there! Well, I can take you guys out no problem now. At, at, well... <laughs> in theory. In theory, yeah. Kaboosh! So were those decoys that they were using? Because he kind of like phased out of existence. Now they got the... They can phase out of, of, the, of this dimension now. They can do that. I can't, but they can. Mm. Oh. Ooh. I doubt they would give you something as powerful as being able to swap between light world and dark worlds well, they when could, you needed. They couldn't load it in time. That's true. If we had the power of the PS5, we could maybe do it. There. That's right. The game, the medium, is what Metroid Prime needs to swap between the two worlds. Mm, how about no? How about never? How about, uh... Bloober team will never get a feature from me. How about so much no that you can come back to saying yes to Metroid Prime 4? Yeah. What the hell? I wanted to do that anyway. <laughs> well, that took. There's still one more. God. Uh, for Bluey. There's three of you guys. Get, get out of there. You don't need to be there. Fuck off. I love how they do like little interpretive dances as they phase to a different part. It's like, hello. Really, the dark beam is the best way to take out those guys because it freezes them, so you can take extra pots, shots with missiles and shit. So. It makes me think you're just shooting like gelatinized darkness onto them. That's why they go, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, ew, 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 It's on ew. me, it's on me, help. Hey, Mr. Mothman, do you want to show me where to go next, please? I'm gonna take out, what, wait. Bumboo? Idiot, you need dark energy, wait, whatever. <laughs> ah, you, you got turned around. Yeah, you got turned around, please, no, no. Wait a minute, that's not the right way. <laughs> oh, the wheel's turning in past UDJ's brain. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait. That's not right. Oh, no. Here we go again. <laughs> there we go. I think I got a bit of light ammo, at least from that. That's good. A little hurting for light ammo, that's okay. It's gonna be so... <sighs> satisfying when you get all the tanks for your light and dark energy. Just walk over to... An ammo reload and just see those things go all the way up. <sighs> That's the good stuff. Alright, let's report to the boss. Let him know that things are going great in his favor. Ah, we are winning this war. Samus, thank you. Can I go home yet? <laughs> the Temple of Torvus glows with energy once more. Only one temple remains without the light of ether. Oh man, we're getting there, man. You must travel to our fortress, high in the cliffs. Hmm. Ooh. This is where their hive is. Uh, huh. Oh, the Ing Hive. Oh. So, <laughs> the Sanctuary Fortress is a place that the Luminoth used to basically live. It was, you know, there's got a temple in there, that's where they made all their creations, all their mechanics and stuff like that. That was also where the Aang's hive is in the Dark World. So I think the Sanctuary Fortress is one of the first places to fall. And now all of the machines in there... Are dark. Are now under Aang control. Jesus. And come to think of it... They're Luminots, which are Chozo adjacent, which means that they could probably do stuff that could really hurt us. It, 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 it should be fine. Oh, it's, it's mm -hmm. not about it. Absolutely, it'll be absolutely fine. We, Help. We, I mean, we, we, got, we got them on the ropes now. We've taken out, out uh, the Aegon Wastes. We've taken out Torvus Bog. We're now equipped and ready and prepared to take on the Ing in their fortified fortress. That's the most... <laughs> Oh, got I can't wait till we get the white flag power up. It's just like I give up. No, we don't give up. <laughs> we're no surrendering. We 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 got them on the upper hand. We 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 can take them out. Yeah. Okay. So we, so we go ahead and uh, open up this door. But what's all this blue stuff around here? Is it phasing? I don't, I don't think it's phase on. I mean, do that. But what are these? 
Objects can be inside. It has hibernetic stasis chain. These are the Luminoth. Ha! This is where they're being kept. As the last of them. These th these are all the Luminoths that are being kept around here. Oh wow! Oh cool. Okay. All right. Yeah 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 yeah. Cool cool cool. All right 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 right. So bring the light back. Bring those guys out of hibernation, and there we go. We did it. So they're not all dead. That's great. Yeah, thank God. Imagine this is like, oh, you you saved my race, all one of me. Oh, damn it. So come in here, it's our first save point that we had. <gasps> gimme, gimme. Very nice, you know, yeah, it's all cool. Energy. Coming back feel. here, you know, finally for once. Energy, 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 yes. Ah. Would you believe there's something here? Like in this room? Yeah. Do we have to look straight up? Did... What? What? Right back here, what? there is a missile expansion all what? along. What? Okay, that's kind of cool. We couldn't get back to this area until just now, because we got the emerald hologram. Uh... We passed through that door, it locks behind us, it turns to a green emerald uh, hologram. Okay. It translates, but now we can come back here, and now we realize. I still love the fact that things are locked behind you needing to be able to read. That just gets me for some reason. Well, like, there's many different dialects of, uh, of, of Hindu... That, that, that they speak in India. So I'm pretty sure there's different dialects of Luminoth as well. <laughs> so the Luminoth are from India? No, it's it's, it's like that! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh. This place kind of looks... It does look familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of looks like... Uh, the start of the game! Oh, I thought you were about to say Metroid Prime 1. I was about to fully agree with you. In fact, we're about to go to where Bravo Team was. Oh. Oh, check it. Uh, right. You see it? Yep, 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 uh, yep. Put in the dark beam and then the dark visor and then get the secret missiles and then beep, 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 beep. Kerb Bluey! Try to air? Try okay. to aim it try it towards the center between all those so that way yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's it's very inaccurate. It's very, very wonky. Well, hey, here we go. This leads us to where we need to go, correct? It, it's just a shortcut, basically, we opened. <gasps> Ooh. And but, here we oh. are. That's, that's Bravo. Ooh, and there's space pirates here. Hello. Regular ones that don't even know what's gonna hit them. <laughs> He's just gone. He's just you deatomized him with darkness. You guys came into the room. Yeah, you guys. Oh, you guys picked the wrong day to be sca to be scavenging this place. Uh, we we have a chance. We have a chance, gentlemen. We could be useful. Ah! So that transit door is the way we need to go. But there's one more thing in here we need to get. Could be a little tricky. Uh, show me. It'd be easier to get when we get a special th uh, special thing, but we can get it now. I assume after we go to the temple, we can unlock the yellow doors. Morph ball, roll on over here. See, I want to know what the yellow means. Oh, you'll know when we get them. Okay, okay. So oh, the is idea it? is we gotta oh yep space we, we gotta space jump over to the tip of the ah oh. I see what you're doing. Oh, I do it perfectly in practice the first time, but it's gonna take me a few times here, of course. Eh, yeah, it's ain't okay. that, ain't how it always is. Always. I get, I get the yips bad. As soon as you get hit the record button, there goes your skills. There, go, there goes your skill, there goes your luck, there goes the blessings of R and Jesus. It's <gasps> all out the window. Yeah! Oh, come on, I made it! <laughs> Tell me you don't have any traction on your feet, Samus, come on! She forgot the cleats. You forgot the no-slip soles! Ne get over there, come on. Next time, Samus, choose Nike. Oh, come on! I fucking made that. <laughs> Alright, well, here's where I employ my other trick. If you're having a hard time with platforming, try and lock your view down a little bit. Oh. Somehow that kinda just helps a little bit. How... you... never mind. That leads to a Mitchell expansion in the back of the ship. Who was the guy that flipped that on the top of the ship? <laughs> oh! Well, I guess I can't play catch with my missiles anymore. Check out my missile expansion! Yeah! Yeah, yeah Toss check. it in the air, catch it, touch it, it's Toss up. it it! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, well, I'll go get that. Hey, is that... Uh, what's that coming out of that dark energy? Ah! The last thing they did was lose a missile tank to the top of the ship. So this was a place of peace, where we they made defensive and, and maintenance drones and all that, then the Aang came over, took it all over, and made him evil. What's the worst I could- Ooh, okay, well, just starting things off loud, I see. Uh, that's a Luminoth turret. <laughs> ha! 
instantaneous. It's a heavy defense system to, of, of course, defend the sanctuary, uh, you know, temple and all that. You know. Made its yeah. fire with quick movement. All sanctuary right. Fort is what this is called. It's supposed to be a place of peace where they made, you know, weapons for Hello. deterrence, and then the Aang took that and turned them all evil and bad. Distracting light there, but don't be too distracted. Oh, There's another guy right there. Man, they're really, they're really not messing around. I kind of like that. They made their defenses and then they didn't work. That's just kind of sad. No, they worked. They worked really good. Yeah, but they still got taken over, though. All right, the Sky Temple. We can find out what happened here. We learn that the ruler of the Ing dwelled in a place dubbed the Sky Temple by our forces. This place held the planetary energy of Dark Aether as well. It was heavily guarded and entry was barred by a great gate requiring ten keys to unlock. This is your Chosa artifacts here. They were hidden throughout Dark Aether by the Ing. A mission was planned, one that would find the hidden keys and recover our missing energy from the Sky Temple. Sky Temple is basically the last part of the game. Okay. The, the, uh, the impact crater of Metroid Prime 2, if you will. So after we get all the energy back, will we have the option to go to Dark World and collect these ten keys? That's basically we can't get the ten keys until we take care of the energy in Aether first. Gotcha. Because I'm pretty sure Sky Temple is protected by that dark energy, and we take out all that dark energy, it's we just gotta sudden, find the keys yeah, to get protected. in and kill the Ing. That also seems like a good point to catch up on 100% and all that fun stuff. This place is cool. The, not the dead Luminoth, but... <laughs> The, the fact that it's it's obviously <laughs> Luminoth made, but it's also oh, got yeah. this, this corruption of Ing technology. Yeah, this is cool. You hear it in the music as well. Like, uh, the, this uh, this choir uh, pad that they use is supposed to represent the Luminoth, obviously. But then they've got, like, the, the kind of, you know... The kind of synthesizer you know, in the background? Th that synthesizer that, that, that represents, like, Dark Aether. So it's a combination of the two. It's the dark leaking into the light. It's the Ing taking over the Sanctuary Fortress and turning it into their own twisted desires and and ideas. Oh. This place is hard, too. Oh, little bugs. You got Serenity class drones. They don't do anything. Just oh. kind of place where you can shoot there. Hmm. Unarmed, unarmored. So just go crazy. Thinking maybe I can shoot these guys for a little bit of beam ammo, but nope, nothing nope. doing. They're really gonna be stingy here, aren't they? That's fine. Ugh. At least we can shoot them for a bit of missile ammo, which is fine. Interesting, so they only give missiles. Not even health! Only missiles. They're so stingy! Interesting. Fuck you! Okay, oh, one- yeah, there's uh, health. Yeah, one bit of health. Yeah, thanks. Spinner here to unlock this door. Oh, that's cool. So wait, are they able to turn into balls? I don't think so. But I think they can control the energy in this place. Ooh, here we go. Yep, show me the sweeping shot. Let's see it. It really looks like the Ing just kind of came over and started building shit over oh my everything. Oh god, they did. Oh my god, look at all these oh, this place poorly is so thrown together cool. towers. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> looks jagged and foreboding. It just looks, it just looks wrong. Time to take it back. I wonder who else lives here. She might like, look familiar. Like, I mean, you know, uh, we, the Ing here obvi are here, obviously, but, uh... Hmm. I wonder who else is here to... Oh! Right! Space Pirates! What? Oh. Like They're the, here, too! I didn't even consider that. Right. Yeah. Are these just regular run-of-the-mill pirates? Uh, kind of. I think you got a commando <laughs> and a couple of regular guys, but the thing is, they've also got, uh, shields now? Oh. Well, they're a tad more effective than your normal space pirate. Only slightly. Just a couple of commandos, really, and they got that visor-disrupting tech as mm -hmm. well. There's their, there's their shields. Lovely stuff there. Yeah, but they don't, like, hide behind it, so of course they're gonna get got. I feel like that maybe you could use a grapple beam, perhaps, but probably not. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Not not that bad, but they're- man, they're hurting a lot more than I expected they would. Jesus, because there's a guy yeah. behind me! Get out of here! Excuse me, sir. Can you not? Please die! He, there's also open containers of phase on here, but you have to like lure them in. Of course, they never learn. They never learn. Oh, Besides good for they, you. They uh, too bad. They give me a hard time yeah, here. You are getting got. Oh come right on! Now. Super missile. Jeez. Boosh. 
Yeah, Super Missile definitely take care of yeah, it. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show, show, show them what's for. Show them what's for. Check the it out. Game is Super Missile. The, the game at this point is also saying you should really start using your Super Missiles. That's fair. It felt like in Metroid Prime 1, we used a lot of missiles, but you know, we, we had an abundance. Here, the game is telling you to use super missiles from now on. I noticed they weren't taking as much damage as they could have been, so yep. yeah, time to upgrade. Yep, yeah, yeah. it's time to start upping your firepower. It's time to start using all those uh, all those uh, missile expansions and beam expansions that you got. It's time to start using them. Because now some, some, uh, some enemies will only be weak to the super missile, or the seeker missile, oh, or a dear. charged light beam thing. Oh, here we go. These, these things are fun. Octopedes. Octopedes. Aww. Rogue delivery drones are basically just kind of running around this, just keeping you from doing that. <laughs> so, okay, no problem. Just uh, give them a shot. Oh, boy. Oh. And they blow up. They also give a lot of stuff, too. Okay. So How maybe I can use, like, my dark ammo to, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Fine! Stingy. Stingy. Very stingy. Very mean. Very evil. Oh, there, some, there's some dark ammo for you. Get some you. dark ammo, at least. That's, some dark. Yeah, that's, that's okay, I guess. It seems like when things get completely deatomized, you don't get things from them, but... Looks like setting them on fire did some good. I think it's a case-by-case -case basis. A cases. That just sounds like something bad happened to you. It's like, ah, my cases! <laughs> Okay. Did you hear? He just had a casus. Oh, another oh, one? another one. Oof. That's rough, Randy. That's rough. Oh, look, big little uh, big daddy uh, drones. Hi. They're inactive, though. <sighs> they won't hurt you. Until the Ing come in. Hey, what's going on, Ing? Defense grid is unenergized, and it's not responding to anything from, from the AI, so it, they're, they're basically gone. So what do we do here, then? X-ray? Dark thing? Dark ray. Hey. Do the whole secret missile thing. One, two, three, four, five. And. Oh, back up, back up uh, a bit. And there we go. What the hell's that? That is a glitch. That's just a glitch. That res is a res bit. Whoa. It's a rogue patrol drone. Possessed? It's got a beam cannon and a digital virus delivery system. Uh oh. This thing can hack us. Oh dear. Yeah, let's, uh... Super... And it's got an everything-proof shield, of course. Ah, that, oh, and it really hurts a lot, too. Oh, Jeez. it's going crazy! Oh, God! Oh, God! Whoa! Man, that thing's bad. And Ew. then I can't lock onto it, and then it does this thing. It, oh, God. Ah! Good! Whoa! Ooh! Oh, no! Holy shit! That's what? an awesome effect! You gotta hold it left, right, and B. Or L, R, That is so cool! Huh. So that's what it's like to be hacked. You have to reboot your system and you're oh, fine. Oh shit, that was awesome! You take constant damage, you can't use your weapons, or even go into Morph Ball, or even do much of anything but I jump and, you, and, uh, and I panic. I thought your video fucked up! No, no. <laughs> that was so cool! Ah, what's that? D uh, what? These uh, are two drones! That's a quad MB! A rogue combat drone. Another rogue combat drone. Lower venting system can be damaged by concussive attacks. Boost attack can disrupt its vortex spinner. And that's got a thing on top, too. It's two different mechs. That's a quad CM. Jeez. This is great. What kind of place is this? I Jeez. love it. Oh, this is so good. This is a place of hell and uh, hatred and I anger. Love it. This is why I'm not playing. So what you gotta do is, uh, you know, you start spinning like that. But the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take off the head. Oh, okay. Heads of so a super missile takes it out right away. Oh, perfect. So now it can't scan. It can't scan, but it also can't uh, attach to another body. So oh. That's what, that's what those heads can do if you destroy the legs first. It's supposed to use the boost ball to kind of disrupt it from that spin, and then drop some bombs, and that kills it. Oh, yeah. I noticed when you boost balled into it, it kind of like tinked out of the way. The red missile door. You know what that means. Time for some super missile. Red missile. Regular missile. Red missile door leads to a save room, usually. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Well, uh, that's about all I want to delve into for right now. This place is dangerous. This place is really, really bad. <laughs> I love it. That's why That's why we need all these expansions and all that to get us prepared for this place. It's so we cool. Are, we are attacking a fortress here. Yes. It is a well-armed, well-guarded fortress. Yes. 
So that's about all we're gonna do for today though, but uh, let me just go ahead and show off the hacking bit because we go into this big open area over here, which is where we're going to next. There's res bits everywhere. Oh, good lord. So let's show off that uh, hacking bit, what do you say? Do they aggro? Oh, they aggro, all right. Okay. Oh, yeah. there he goes. Got one uh, hacking us and ah! See, see, I don't know what that text is, if it's just, you know, some, like, data or whatever. I think it's just whatever. garbled data, yeah. This also doesn't look like a, the static effect they normally had, because I think one of the things they said, the, the static filter that they did put on, killed the frame rate. That didn't work. So I wonder if this is their original idea. So wait a bit. What if we repurpose it? and turn it into they a status a, effect. Add a string of, of garbage text, and now you're hacked. Interesting. Now everything's all crappy and poopy and all that, yeah. Well, let's deal with these guys next on Metroid Prime 2.